Um, I was looking over my uh, my tutorial about the, the video sequence editor, and, and I realized something after I'd finished it. You can also um, kind of see what you're doing before you you know render everything out. You don't have to use a v the the preview uh, window in the video sequence editor. Um, what you can do in order to line things up a little better is just just add the the image that's going to be in the background add it to your 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 three d scene you just go to view background image and use background image and you load let's see that's gonna be forgot where I put it let's see I believe it's in here yes select image And there it is. Go ahead and close that out. So now you can adjust your camera to to line up with the scene a little better. So now I'm go ahead and adjust this window so I can actually this one here. My timeline. Bring it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. I had my my keys <laughs> selected. Let me go in and LA editor. Uh, camera, I need to turn off the, delete those keyframes. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so now, move my camera, and I can uh, scrub back and forth and get that ball bouncing a little closer to where I'm wanting it to, rather than trying to, you know, guess and look and guess and look at the preview editor. You can just kind of do it as you're working right there. See, now it's a lot lot more down the path that I was wanting before so anyways just a quick response to that so uh, you guys can do that and and uh, be able to set things up a little little more accurately thanks